Astronomers want to update us concerning Planet Nine. They say Planet Nine may not exist, as scientists now find a simpler explanation. This is on Sputnik. Today, 22nd of January, they say the weird ob orbits of objects on the edge of our solar system could have a more straightforward explanation which does not involve a mysterious planet. You remember that the scientists were saying there were perturbations in the orbits of the exterior objects, or the planets of our solar system, and they hypothesized that there, were, there would have been a big planet, a, a solar body, a celestial body, pulling on the outer planets, and that's why they were tilting, their axes were tilting, and their orbits were perturbed. And now they're coming out with a simpler explanation. Ever since 10 years ago, when Pluto was declared asteroid number 134340, instead of being a planet, and excluded from the list of planets in our solar system, scientists have been looking for the possible existence of another planet, a so-called Planet Nine, a study published in the Astronomical Journal said. The searches for the mysterious Planet Nine began in 2014. They call it Planet Nine, so they don't call it Planet Ten, Planet X. So it doesn't remind us of the incoming Nibiru that comes every 3,600 years or so. As per Zachariah Sitchin and the Sumerian tablets. So they call it Planet Nine. The search began in 2014 when astronomers Chad Trulio and Scott Shepard proposed the existence of a large, unseen, quote-unquote, perturber beyond Neptune, causing gravitational oddities in the orbits of distant planets like the dwarf planet Sedna and 2012 VP113. Researchers at Caltech, the California Institute of Technology, who discovered 13 objects in the Kuiper Belt beyond Pluto, suggest that they could be moving as they do because they have been caught in the orbit of a huge object. A computer simulation suggested that only a massive planet about 10 times the size of Earth could have such a huge effect. And this would have, uh, as they assume, would be Planet Nine, 10 times the size of Earth. And only that could have such a huge effect on the outer planets. But the latest research has suggested that the trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, in the Kuiper Belt could be disrupted by shepherding gravitational pull by other trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs. Quote, if you remove Planet Nine from the model and instead allow for lots of small objects scattered across a wide area, collective attractions between those objects could just as easily account for the eccentric orbits we see in some TNOs, end quote. And Tranik Sefilian, doctoral student in the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics at Cambridge University in England, the le and lead author of the study, said in his statement, Selifan, who had constructed the model with Professor Jihad Tuma of the American University of Beirut, was fascinated, quote-unquote, with the Planet Nine hypothesis, yet tried to model the more natural cause for the unusual orbits, and their model fully explained the oddly elongated orbits. Quote, while we don't have direct observational evidence for the disk, neither do we have it for Planet Nine, which is why we're investigating other possibilities. It is also possible that both things could be true. There could be a massive disk and a ninth planet, with the discovery of each new trans-Neptunian object, we gather more evidence that might help explain their behavior, Sullivan added. The hypothesis also suggests that there are a lot more trans-Neptunian objects in the Kuiper Belt, which is composed mostly of the icy objects left drifting around the sun after the system was formed that have been discovered so far. So their model works according to the scientists only when assuming that the mass of the Kuiper belt is a few to ten times that of Earth. The belt remains mostly undiscovered by astrophysicists, but the most recent research suggests that its mass is less than 10% of that of Earth, with one recent study putting the figure at 2% of the Earth's mass, 
but Cephalian and Tuma noted that other solar systems are known to harbor massive icy objects on their edges and that just because one has not been discovered yet in ours does not mean that one does not exist in ours. Also, newly discovered faraway dwarf world stirs up hunt for elusive planet X. The frosty world lurking across a distant part of our solar system, astronomers believe that there is yet unseen planet X out there that shepherds dwarf planets trillions of kilometers away from Earth. So they're shepherding those little Kuiper Belt shepherded planets clumping together, uh, uh, causing the axis tilts and the perturbations of the, our solar system's outer planets. Those could be shepherding because of another massive object uh, we have not yet found trillions of kilometers, trillions of miles away from us. This is again on Sputnik News. U.S. astronomers discovered the father's body ever observed in our solar system. The object was spotted by the Carnegie Institution for Sciences, Scott Shepard, the University of Hawaii's David Tholen, and Northern Arizona University, Chad Trulio. The discovery team gave it the provisional designation 2018 VG18, as well as a catchier nickname called Far Out, because it's far out there, <laughs> far out. <laughs> so it suits 2018 VG18 perfectly, far out, given that the object is about 120 times farther from our sun than Earth is. It's likely a spherical dwarf planet, the scientists say, and it has a pinkish hue, something that hints that it is rich in ice. The team has been searching, as we said, for Planet X, the massive hypothetical planet far out from a, in the solar system, which is supposed to be 10 times that of Earth in size, which could be affecting the orbits of smaller, faraway objects. And as part of the search, they discovered space bodies nick to nickname the Goblin and Biden. They claim that it will take several years to study far out, but they've already found that it has an unusual orbit similar to that of other extremes, extreme or, or, uh, objects lurking in the outskirts of the solar system, and the likes of far out, the Goblin and Biden, are too far away from the giants Jupiter and Neptune to be affected by their gravitational pull. And this supports astronomers' account of Planet X, whose large gravity could have shaped the orbits of the smaller objects. Shepard said, quote, the orbital similarities thrown and shown by many of the small known distant solar system bodies was a catalyst for our original assessment that there is a distant massive planet at several hundred AU astronomical units, that's the distance between Earth and Sun, and this massive planet shepherding them is uh, shepherding these smaller objects should be out there, said Shepard. So, okay, the smaller planets are being shepherded because there's a bigger planet out there. We just have not found it yet. So they're still looking for it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.